This is how you can make a favorite channels command using your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from any of the videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bot packages based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. So we're going to start off by going over to schemas and we're going to go ahead and create our favorite schema.js within this we're going to go ahead and get our guild string our user string our channel string and our note string you can just go ahead and save it to your favorites go ahead and copy all of this down go ahead and pause the video if you need to after you do that we can go ahead and go over to community and we can go ahead and create favorites.js and here we can go ahead and start off by getting our slash command builder our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js just like that so once we do that we can go ahead and do const favorites equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our favorite schema so you can do dot dot slash dot dot slash we're going to go ahead and get our favorite schema then we can do module dot exports we can open this up we're going to get our data which can be our new slash command builder we can go ahead and start off by setting a name which is going to be favorites and we're going to go ahead and say a description and we can go ahead and say favorites nobody's going to see that description so it doesn't really matter then we can go ahead and get three sub commands the first is going to be add with a description of add a favorite channel we're going to have a channel option of channel with a description of the channel to favorites then we're going to go ahead and add channel types. We're going to get all of the channel types, guild text, guild voice, guild announcement, and guild form. Then we're going to go ahead and set required to true. We're going to go ahead and add a string option with the name note and a description of a note about the channel. You do not have to set required to true. Now, before we move on, let's go ahead and add our channel type up here where we define discord.js. That way it will work within your first subcommand. Our next subcommand is going to be remove with the description of remove a channel from the favorites. We're going to get a channel option with the name channel, a description of the channel to remove, and we can go ahead and set required to true. Our last subcommand is going to be git with the description of git your favorited channel. So after we do that, we can do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction and we're going to go ahead and open this up. We can start off by getting our options and we're going to go ahead and set that equal to our interaction. Then we can do const sub equals options that get sub command and we can also do var data equals await favorites that find and we're going to go ahead and get our user which can be our interaction that user that id next we can go ahead and write out our send message function and we're going to go ahead and pass in our parameter as message we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we're going to go ahead and start off by setting a color to blurple then we can go ahead and set a description to message after we do that we can go ahead and send it so we can do await interaction or apply we can go ahead and pass in our embeds and we're going to go ahead and get our embed and we can also go ahead and set informal to true on that message all right so following that we're going to go ahead and switch to our sub command and we can open this up we're going to get our case which is going to be add we're going to go ahead and start off by doing var channel and we can do equals options to get channel and that is going to be our channel and we can also do var notes equals options to get string and that is going to be our note string and we're going to set that to an empty string if we do not have a note string so after we do that we're we're going to go ahead and set data equals to our weight favorites to find one and we're going to go ahead and get our guild this time and we're going to get our interaction that guild that id we can get our user which can be our interaction that user that id and we're going to get our channel which is going to be our channel that id so we're altering our data variable just a little bit next we're going to go ahead and say if data we can go ahead and await to send a message and we can go ahead and get our caution emoji and we can go ahead and say this channel is already favorited then we're going to go ahead and say else and we can go ahead and do await and we can do favorites that creates so we're going to create our schema we're going to get our guild which is going to be our interaction that guild that id we can get our user which is going to be our interaction that user that id we can get our channel which can be our channel that id and we can get our note which is going to be our note all right so after we're done with that all we have to do is send our confirmation message so we can do await send message and i'm just going to go ahead and get a globe emoji and we can go ahead and say I have favorited and we can go ahead and get our channel variable it's so just that simple not very complicated now we're going to go ahead and do break because we're going to make our next sub command which is going to be case remove so we're going to go ahead and start off by copying and pasting um, the first three lines from above so we're going to get our var channel we can actually go ahead and delete the note because there's not going to be a note for this and we're going to go ahead and keep our data variable the same so after we have that information we can say if no data this time we can go ahead and do a wait send message and I'm going to go ahead and get our caution 
caption emoji and within this we can go ahead and say that channel is not yet favorited so after we do that we can go ahead and say else we're going to go ahead and do await favorites dot delete one we're going to get our guild and that is going to be our interaction dot guild dot id we can get our user which is going to be our interaction dot user dot id and we can get our channel which is going to be our channel dot id Next, we can do a wait send message, and I'm going to go ahead and get our globe emoji, and we can go ahead and say channel, and then we can go ahead and say has been removed from your favorites, just like that. So after we do that, we can go ahead and break. We're going to get our final sub command, which is going to be get. This is going to be our most important sub command because it's actually going to get all the favorite channels. So we're going to do if no data, then we can open the sub, and we're going to go ahead and send a message. We're going to go ahead and get our caution emoji, and we can just go ahead and say you don't have any favorited channels yet, just like that then we can go ahead and say else within this we're going to do var string equals and we can get an empty string we can do a weight data dot for each and we can do our async value you can open that up with an arrow function within this we're going to go ahead and start off by doing var channel equals await client dot channels dot fetch and we can actually go ahead and get our value dot channel just like that now in order for this to work we're going to go back up at the top and after our interaction we're going to go ahead and pass in our client so that we can use the client variable so after we have that we can go ahead and do if value dot note we can open this up we're going to set our string to plus equal and we can do an arrow we can do channel and i'm going to go ahead and finish off that bolding we're going to go ahead and get our channel variable and then we can do backslash n we can do an arrow we can bold notes and we can finish that bolding we can do backslash stick and we're going to get our value dot notes backslash stick and we can do two backslash ends then we can go ahead and say else and we're going to do string and we can do plus equals we're actually going to go ahead and copy this entire string because it's going to be very very similar all we have to do is remove our note so we can just go ahead and do this just like that so all you have to do is pass in your channel you can leave out the note all right so after you do that you actually have all the information you need so you can just do a way to send message and this time i'm going to use a star emoji because that's kind of symbolizing your favorites then we can go ahead and say your favorite channels and we can go ahead and bold that we're going to do backslash n and we can do backslash n and we can just pass in the string variable because that has all of the favorite channels stored and formatted within it. Now, there is one more thing we could actually do. See, right here in the git command, if you don't have any favorite channels, it's just going to say your favorite channels with nothing. So let's go ahead and fix that. Let's just go ahead and go into the string. We can say or and we can say no favorite channels yet or something like that. It doesn't really matter what you say, but you can just go ahead and say something like that because if the string is empty, then that means you don't have any favorites. So with that we are actually done with this entire command. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. Let's just go ahead and do favorites git. And we can go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it's going to say no favorite channels yet. And the reason for that is because obviously we don't have any favorite channels set up. So let's just go ahead and start off by adding a channel. Let's just go ahead and get vids. But before we do that, I want to show you that this only is going to give you any channel that you can actually mention, meaning no categories and no stage VCs and nothing like random like that. It's only going to give you channels, voice channels, and forms. So let's just go ahead and get the channel that we're in right now. So we can just do vids and let's just go ahead and give it a note. We can say the bot testing channel or something like that. So as you can see, it's going to say I have favorited vids and now we can actually go ahead and get it this time. And as you can see, now we have one favorite channel, which is going to be vids, and we're going to have the note as the bot testing channel. So you might be thinking, like, this is kind of a useless command. We can just go to the channel anyways if we're in the server. But that's actually not true. Let's go over to a different server, and let's go ahead and run the command. Your bot does have to be in the server that you're trying to run it in, but regardless, if we go ahead and run it, as you can see, my channel is still there, and we can go over to that channel by clicking on that. This is important because let's say we wanted to favorite a channel from this server. Maybe we wanted to favorite general chat. We could go ahead and say coding lounge general chat as our note. And now if we go ahead and do our favorites git command, now we're going to have two favorited channels, one within a different server and one within this server, both with a note. So we can technically jump back and forth between them just by running our command. So essentially what this has done is it's went ahead and created a hub that has all of the favorite channels in one place. So let's say we wanted to go back to this channel because we want to chat in it. All we'd have to do is click on it. So let's just go ahead and try this one more time. This time I'm going to go to uh, this server again and we can go ahead and get our favorites and let's go ahead and add. Maybe we can do uploads. I'm not going to provide a note this time. Let's go ahead and do favorites get. 
And now, as you can see, we have three of these channels. We have our vids testing channel. We have our DCL general channel with a note. And we have our uploads channel without a note. So like I said before, we can essentially jump back and forth between these all through our favorite channel hub. And it's going to give you all of your channels that you favorited within one place. That is technically the point of this. Now, let's say we no longer wanted the upload channel to be in here. Here's how you'd remove it. You actually have to go to the Discord server that it's in, and then within that Discord server, you could go over to a bot testing channel or bot commands channel, and you could go ahead and do remove, and now you can go ahead and select that channel you want to remove. So let's go ahead and remove uploads, so we can go ahead and send it, and now if we go ahead and do favorites, and we can go ahead and get, as you can see, now that channel has been removed. But it's important to note that you actually have to go over to the Discord to remove the channel. You can't just do it in any random server. That's something I thought I'd mention. Now, the whole point of this system was to replicate the Discord Favorites tab, which is actually an experiment. So this Discord Favorites tab should be coming out soon to the actual Discord client. But until then, this system essentially allows you to replicate exactly what I have here with a bunch of different favorite channels, but within my Discord bot. So that's you can make an advanced favorite channel system using your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here, and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.